humans have searched for signs of life beyond our world for centuries. And it's not just a fringe interest. The British Defense Ministry has collected thousands of pages of top secret UFO files, some recently released. A small percentage of cases, perhaps two or three percent, are very interesting are genuinely unexplained, and even those of us at the Ministry of Defence who worked on this issue uh, were puzzled. A steady stream of reported UFO sightings increasingly makes the possibility of alien life forms an object of serious study. And experts are discussing not only how to detect extraterrestrials, but also how potential contact would impact human life. We get lots of our ideas from science fiction, but there's been a lot of science in the last 50 years, which has is, is, uh, furthered the search. For example, if we go back to 1960, uh, we had not been able to identify one planet outside of our solar system. Now the list is something like 400, 450 planets. We have the technology to look further and further, deeper and deeper into the universe, and to look for signs and hints of life. That technology is still developing. The SETI Institute in California is on the forefront, listening for any sign of communication. We're trying to observe what is, right? what's out there. Uh, it's a perfectly legitimate question to ask of the universe whether the kinds of chemistry and physics and eventually biology and evolution that took place on this planet has happened elsewhere. While scientists search the galaxies, theologians grapple with the significance of the search for alien life. If we confirm that there really is intelligent life in outer space, many people are worried that there's going to be a religious crisis, that our traditional religions are going to fall apart, and I don't think that's the case. I've talked to a lot of religious people and just asked them about their faith. No. They're going to, uh, as one said, I'd sit with an alien in the pew any day. Mormons believe there are intelligent beings on other planets, and the Vatican advises to treat aliens like brothers. The Vatican has actually run its own observatory uh, for a number of years, and Jesuits are the ones who are in charge. And on their list of research projects, is the detection of extraterrestrial intelligent life. So the Vatican really has not been nervous about this. Some experts speculate exactly how humans would react if alien life is found. Uh, some people will see it as a benefit, uh, that they will see it as the coming of a new era with wonderful new science and technology available to us, courtesy of the aliens. Others will become afraid uh, that we might be colonized or end up having to fight them. Threat or no threat, all the speculation and research are only adding to the question, are we alone? I think our religious leaders, as well as our teachers and professors, need to get a conversation going now to prepare us so when that day comes that we don't do silly or crazy things. And with the advances made in science, some experts say living generations could see signs of extraterrestrial life being detected.